everyone. So today I'm going to um, review a few items that came in from Diamond Press. They did send the items in free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. Um, so thanks so much for using those if, if you can. Um, so I do have a few different things uh, that I can go over. I did watch um, Beth's uh, Facebook Live, where she, actually I watched it here on YouTube, where she showed the new items that uh, Diamond Press was bringing to HSN, so I did get my items in now to review, but, um, so I did have an idea of what these kind of, what they do, what they look like, you know, so normally I open it and it's a surprise, so um, I have an idea of what I'm going to do with these tag kits, but we'll see, hopefully it works out. Uh, so this is the tag kit called Birthday Party, and this one's called Just For You, and I'm going to show you both of them, um, because, you know, they're similar in nature, but they have different uh, things going on. So let me open these guys up. Super cute. I just love the little things that the Diamond Press always brings in their binders here. So let me pop this one out. And I'll take the plastic wrap off and I'll be right back. For unboxing and opening things, um, that plastic sound isn't the most pleasant sound in the world. So this is the Just For You tag kit. So let's open this up. It does come with this protection here, so that's always nice. I suppose if you want to keep it to pop it back on there, um, you know, keep it put away nicely, you can do that. Um, oh, wow. So let's just get into it. So on the very top here, the first layer, I see some twine in the black and white, and then the uh, white, kind of creamy color. It's like a natural color with like the gold shimmer. Look how pretty these are. So I'll show you through the packaging because I know, again, that crinkling sound, but you can see them very well. Look how cute these tags are. So basically you can just pop this on a GIF with another tag or just something you want to add to a card or your mini album, whatever project you have, you can just pop that on there. Super cute, the felt with the two layers. And this one also has two layers, but it's more of um, tone on tone. How cute is that? And as far as how many of each, of course, you can see that there on the descriptor on HSN. And I failed to mention these things are on HSN now uh, leading into the craft day, which is on the 13th, April 13th. Um, so you can check that out. Oh, look at this little tag that says for you with the gold foil. Nice size. Just to give you an idea of the sizing on these guys, let me measure just a couple real quick. Um, this one's about two and a half inches square, I would say. This tag is about three and a half inches long, you know, two inches wide, probably similar on that one. Oh, and they have even bigger ones. So let's see what this say. Thank you. And of course they have a little punch for the tag. It's there, but it's full right now. Uh, you just pop that out if you want to use it that way. We have a handmade with love with a scalloped edge on that one with the gold foiling. We have yay. Hello. Again, these are all tags. You don't have to pop the little tag hole out if you just want to put this on a card and like put something on there, you know. Um, a little flower or something definitely would be cute. Yay, good stuff inside. This one has, again, that gold foiling. Really big tag on this guy. Let's see. That one's about four and a half by three. So pretty. Again, these are just nice, I think, as toppers. They have thinking of you. Um, enjoy. You are very special to me with a pretty oval and just that soft pink. I love this color right now. Um, very trendy. Um, well, actually, I would love that anytime, but <laughs> birthday wishes with the gold foiling on there. Then we have some other shapes here, and these are all like layered up or two tones. We have the heart, and then we have the little star, and the little birthday gift there. And then again, the twine in that pretty, like just kind of more of a sunflower yellow. It's very bright, but it has that deep tone to it and then the pink that's really really cute that's in the just for you tag set let's check out the birthday tag set i love this blue it's so pretty really nautical but like fresh just such a fresh blue on there and then we have again that natural twine with a little gold fleck we have the words yay and they also have a tag hoping you see it has a little hole there um i suppose if you didn't want that you can also trim it away and just have the the lettering without the um little Holder there. Uh, let me open this up because both of the hats are turned <laughs> opposite ways so you can't really see what's going on there. Look at that. So cute. And then we have a little daisy. Super sweet. Nice and crisp. And then we have our tags. We have the hooray with the cutest colors. Again, that gold foiling. We have congrats. 
This one's a little more sophisticated in nature. That's pretty. We have hello again with the foiling and the scallop top. We have yay. We have thanks for making me. And then it says smile, of course. The cute tag. It's basically the same uh, shapes that we saw earlier, so I'm not going to measure them again. But uh, we have birthday wishes. Nice and big. Hip hip hooray, you did it. Sounds more of a congrats type of thing, right? We have happy birthday to you. Super cute. I love the little dots on that, the polka dots and the foiling. You can kind of see. Pretty much they all have foil. We have thank you. So this one just isn't just birthday. It has other sentiments in there too. We have party, party, party. Super cute. We have the stars with the blue. Let me see if I can. Blue with the outline, like a little light outline there. And then the party hat, which is a much bigger size than... Um, the one we saw originally over here. A little bigger there. And then that raspberry twine, so pretty with the green. Love that. Nice and fresh, kind of like a grass green color. So what I'm gonna do is grab some papers and a card base and hopefully what I was thinking will work out uh, and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I think uh, to make the base of the card, I want a five by seven card just to have a little more room to work with. And what I'm gonna do is try to hang a little banner on the inside of the card and I think it's gonna be really cute, but you know. So I cut my paper down to seven inches by 10. So we need to score it at five inches. So we have a five by seven base. And then just to decorate the inside a little more, I cut some mats for the inside. And so, let me just fold this over real quick here. And so for the outside too, the same thing. I have um, this little paper, it's like for my Hello Kitty stack. I just thought it was really cute. Um, I cut it down to six and seven eighths by five and seven eighths because I wanted to keep those little thin mats. If you don't like thin mats, I would say six and three quarters. I'm sorry, by four and three quarters. So the other one, <laughs> I said five and seven eighths, didn't I? Four and seven eighths. So six and seven eighths, four seven eighths, or six and three quarters by four and three quarter. And I basically did the same for the inside. I did cut the piece at once, so that's basically the same thing. Again, for the same reason, whenever you have something on the center of your car, like a pop-up, um, you need that little break in the center. Otherwise, it, it'll just be glued together. When you go to open it, it's not gonna wanna open the way you think. So I cut it down the center, but I did cut the paper to again six and seven eighths by this number is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Instead of by 10, I cut it at by nine and uh, 15 sixteenths. I know, well, okay, let's go back. <laughs> by uh, nine and seven eighths, so when I cut it in half, sorry, nine and seven eighths, so when I cut it in half, it would be cut at four and 15 sixteenths. I hope that makes sense. I know the numbers. I, I like to have those thin mats. If you don't like thin mats again, don't worry about that. Um, just do the quarter inches and you'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these things down um, and I'll be right back. I hope I didn't confuse people with all the numbers. It's just, I mean, that's what it is. I can just skip over those things, I suppose, but I think people like to know exactly what's going on there. And I'm going to try to get this right to the center as much as I can. And then this one here. Okay, I'm just gonna glue that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose some different things that I would like to suspend in the center. And um, I'm gonna use the happy birthday kit. I'll just use one kit because I don't want you to think you have to have both kits for something to work out nicely. I'm gonna stick to one of them. And then um, you can use the same idea in both of them or however you would like. But what I'm gonna go through is go through this and see, I think I'm gonna use this on the very front because it's a nice big centerpiece with the birthday wishes. And then I'm gonna pick out some other pieces, some felt pieces, another little sign probably for the inside. Probably just three elements on the inside um, for my little banner. But, and there we go. I'll probably pop this out here and then, um, you know, we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've chosen a few things. Uh, like I said, just like three items. If you want to put five, you know, you can put maybe a couple more of the felt. So this is a nice big hooray. And I took that center out because um, it is still kind of held in there pretty well. So like I said, if you don't want to pop that out and you just want to, you know, use it a different way, obviously this is more of a tag shape, but like on that one, you could have just left it there. Um, you are gonna push it out. So that's nice that you can kind of keep it there if you wanted it to stay. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, and this is the part that I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get this going, because <laughs> I want it to go from here to here, of course. I want to have some extra, so I'll probably use plenty of this, but I also think I'm going to start in the center, and then we'll see how that goes. And if I pop this through, okay, I'm going to pop it through the front. You see how I fold it in half? I like, this is just the personal preference, <laughs> when you push this stuff through, that the little loop is in the front. I'm going to take this whole thing because I'm not sure exactly how long I want this yet, so I don't want to cut it off. I'm going to pop this whole thing through. Let's get that going through there. So whenever I do that, I like to put the little the little loop from the front to the back because that way that little loop is showing. But if you don't like that, you can do it the other way. You can do it from the back to the front and then you're just gonna have it look like this if you like that part to be in the front. However you like, I just like it this way. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. And then so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So hopefully I can explain this. I am gonna cut it now because I can kind of see what I need. I'm still gonna leave quite a bit of string. So I want them all to be tied so it looks cute like this. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just put a knot, right? Pass it through and tie a knot. But what I'm going to do again is get it pretty close here. I'm going to make my little loop. I'm going to push it through the front of my little daisy. Now I need as much of this loop as I can get, but this also needs to go through the loop, right? How we did the first time. So basically we're putting this up through here and also the rest of this guy. So it sounds confusing. <laughs> And hopefully I'm explaining this well. So I'm going to pull this up as much as I can. Again, I could have left myself more of this to not be afraid if it pops out. But either way, we're going to stick all of this stuff through. The card. The string coming from the card. Okay. All of this needs to come through. And so does your little piece of string. And then we're going to adjust. I know. I, hopefully you can see what I did and hopefully it doesn't sound confusing. That way you can have it so it looks the same. You see how they both look the same? But if you just want to tie it in a knot, you can just tie it in a knot. So I'm going to do the same thing for this other side. Again, we're going to make, you know, have it facing me. We're going to put our little loop. I like to push the loop through from the front. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Pull as much of it as we can. And then you, know, you make your adjustments, right? So I'm going to bring it down as far as I can. And this time we need all of this. <laughs> to go through our loop. Plus the little piece of string that, okay, so that all came through, right? If I keep pulling it, it's not gonna work. I need this piece of string also to go through the loop and then pull. Okay, and now I'm just gonna sit here and make some adjustments. Hopefully that was clear. It's just a way of making it so it looks the same if you don't want that, you know, just tie it <laughs> in a knot. Hey, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I was like, I need to make some adjustments to make sure these are about the same size or, you know, uh, length away from each other, but that's not bad. I think I'm okay with that. Not bad, guys. Let me pull this up a little bit. Okay. So, basically my idea is that these are going to glue in here and the person, when they receive it, it has the little hooray, right? So what I want to do is make it a little bit taut so that way they have something hanging. It looks cute. You know, so I wasn't sure if I want to make my own bow like I do when I do this kind of thing to put on the very end. I think that would be cute, right? So I'm going to make a couple of those bows, I think. And I might even fire up the hot glue gun. We'll see. That way I can stick it down quickly. So we're going to make our own bow. I've been doing this for a little while here. Okay, so I'm going to bring it the front of these two fingers. And I suppose if you really wanted a big bow, you could do it so that these two count as one. Ooh, can you check that out? Which I'm not going to do right now, but you can get an even bigger bow, right? Okay, so right in front, over index, under the middle finger, over your index, under the middle finger, and then it's going to finish off here. So I need to cut this off. I'm going to make two of these. And give yourself a little extra. We're going to push, now I have my fingers spread apart, so that's going to make a bigger bow if you want to get your fingers a little bit closer together. That's fine too. So that string, we're going to finish that loop over the middle finger. We're going to push it through over everything, over everything that I had on my fingers there. Bring this around, and then you're going to go up through this little loop that you just created. So this loop right here. I'm going to go under it basically, only in, under that piece. 
and then pull it tight. And I'll have to remember how far apart my fingers were so the second one looks similar at least. And that's a cute little bow that we can just add to help us put our little banner on. Okay, so I'll make another one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna use my glue gun and while I wait for that to warm up, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit because I do want it a little bit tighter just so that it can have more, um, more hang, you know what I'm saying? So when the person opens it, it'll just be a little tighter. So I'm just gonna adjust this so that it moves over closer to the hooray. And so I just wanna let you guys know I would be doing that. Okay, so I'll be right back. Just loosening this up and just moving it more to the, to the right. Hey okay, guys, so here we are. So I just said, brought them in just a little bit closer. So basically the idea is to when the person opens it, it'll be hanging like this. So you kinda have to make it so that it can't be opened all the way flat. So I guess in a way I didn't have to cut my paper in half, but that's okay. So it's something like this. So when they open it, it's just hanging there like that. So I'm gonna stick down one side. I'm gonna look at it again, and then I'll stick down the other side. Again, I'm using hot glue just to make it stick quickly so we can see what we're doing and have an idea of what we're doing there. So I'm gonna let that uh, set up for a second before I kind of play with the other side. I'll be right back. So we got that side. And then this one, again, like I said, I wanna see about how where I need it to be. Cute. And it's about an inch up. So I'm gonna glue, put some glue right here. Okay, and I'm gonna take some of that slack off just so that um, it can set up without being bothered. So I'm gonna hold it here, kind of a little bit open while that sets up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I was just kind of admiring that, so cute. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is just stick down these guys now. Well, at least that's my idea here. If you wanna cut this off, you can. You can leave it, you know, it just depends. I mean, obviously we're, we already have an end of our little bow. But I think it looks cute with more things streaming down. So I'll probably leave it. I'll probably trim it a little bit shorter. But other than that, I will keep it. So I'm just going to put this here. A nice glob of glue. Since our boat is bigger, it can take it. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just add a glob of glue. And add our little bow. Okay, while that glue is setting up, I'm just going to kind of look at my card and see where I want to trim my little pieces. Again. Does have three ends. Uh, I want to keep them a little bit long because I do like them just kind of streaming down there. I think the other one should be okay. All right, and then we're just going to decorate the front, but I'll show you what this looks like in just a minute once it's all set up. Okay, so I do have these little things sticking out. You can push them in if you'd like, but I think it's cute. And then when you open it up, you have your little banner in there, super adorable. Of course, this color is light. You can still write a message, but what you can also do is maybe die cut just a little piece of something like a little journaling tag or a little tag here that you can write whatever it is you like. But look how cute that is. And it's hard to tell because I have to lay it down to show you guys, but it looks very adorable. So hopefully I can get some good pictures for you guys. And on the front, I'm just gonna echo pretty much the same kind of thing. Um, since my hot glue is still on, I will just do that. But I made an extra bow with three loops this time. And I'm just going to pop it on there. So it's not really a tag, but like a, a loop. I'm just going to put that on there. And since I still have the hot glue on, and I'm just going to keep it simple with this. I'm just going to put a big, huge glop of glue. And... Just use it like 3D glue gel basically, but it's hot glue. So I'm not gonna push down on it too much and let that set up. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Diane Press for Sandy's Eyes for my review. I hope you guys like uh, this video. Um, very cute little idea too. You can do this with, um, you know, anything really and everything in the kit all has a little hole so you can basically hang whatever you like in there. I think it's adorable. I'll have some images for you guys. I'll have the links in the description box and I'll continue putting out some um, tutorials in the next uh, couple days leading up to the craft day on the 13th. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.